I say this, or well, I say that is 1985. Question number five. The diagram below represents a playing field in the form of a trapezium. If AB is 40 meters, BC, that is 70 meters, DC, that is 120 meters, AD, 50 meters, and then we are being told that the AB is par to the DC. We should calculate angle ADC, that is ADC, this very angle, and then we should find the length of AC to three significant figures. So first, let's consider the diagram. Now, this is the diagram that we have over here. Now, let's consider a line um, from A to DC, which is perpendicular to it. So let's consider this line, and it's perpendicular, so clearly we can see this is the height. Clearly, let's also consider a perpendicular line from B to DC. And clearly, this is 90 degrees. This is also H. Now, if the distance A to B is 40, then let me call this P, let me call this Q. Then PQ would also be 40 meters. Now, from D to C is 120, and PQ is 40. So what is the remaining? The remaining will be 120 minus 40, which is 80. So clearly, clearly, DP plus QC is 80. So if this is X, then here becomes 80 minus X, because this side plus that side is equal to 80. We know AD in the question, it was given us 50 meters. BC was given us 70 meters. And I want to find ADC. I can see that let theta be equal to angle ADC. Now, APD is a right angle triangle. So, from this, that is using Pythagoras theorem. What can I say? I can see that h square plus x square equal to 50 square. Now, what is 50 square? 50 square is given out that is 2,500. So you have h square plus x square. Let's call this equation 1. Let's also see the other right angle triangle. What can I say? I can say that h square plus 80 minus x square equal to 70 square. Now expanding, that is h square, this is 80 minus x, 80 minus x equal to 70 square. And 70 square is, that is 4,900. Now expanding, I know 80 will multiply everything in it, and then my negative x will also multiply everything, and it equal to 4,900. I have to simplify. So I have my h square plus that is 600 and four six thousand. That is 400. That is 80 times 80. That is 6,400 minus 80x, minus 80x plus x squared equal to 4,900. Clearly, what do I have? I have h squared plus 6,400. Now, negative 80x minus 80x, that is negative 160x plus x squared equal to 4,000. 900. I want to find, let me group like terms. So let me take the 6,400 to the right hand side. So I'll be having h square minus 160x plus x square equal to 4,900 minus 6,400. So my h square minus 160x plus x square, this is equal to that is negative 1000 
500, that is 4,900 minus 6,400. You can use the calculator to check. Now, so I have something like h square plus x square minus 160x equal to negative 1,500. Let me call this equation two. Now, let's see from equation one, what can we see? We know that h square plus s square equal to 2,500. So what can I say? I can substitute equation one into equation two. So I'll say that substitute equation one into two. And I know that my h square plus s square is 2,500. So 2,500 minus 160x equal to negative 1,500. I want to find x. So 2,500 has to go to the right hand side. So I have negative 160x equal to negative 1,500 minus 2,500. So I have negative 160x equal to negative 4,000. That is negative 1,500 minus 2,500. Now I'm looking for x, so what should I do? Divide by what is multiplying the, one six, the x. So we have negative 160x all over negative 160 equal to negative 4,000 all over negative 160. This is cancelling out that. 160 is cancelling out 160. Now clearly, 0 will cancel 0, so um, 400 divided by 16, this will give us 25. This is 25. So clearly, my x over here is 25. Let me also find the height. So I can say that put x equal to 25 into equation 1. Now, what is the equation 1? Equation 1 is giving us h square plus x square equal 2,500. So I have h square plus 25 square equal 2,500. I want to find my h. So I have h square, that is 2,500 minus 25 square. My h that is 2,500 minus 25 square, square root of that. Now, we are allowed to use the calculator. And when you use the calculator, you would be getting, that is 25 root 3. And this is the same as 43.301. Now, we know x, so we know x and then we know H. We want to find the angle. So let me consider my right angle triangle. It is in this form. Now this is my D, this is my A, and then I have my P over here. Now the X is here, this is 90 degrees. The X that is 25 meters. This is 50 meters. And this is 25 root 3. I want to find the angle. I can use any of the trig ratios. But then let me use cos theta. Ka, ka, that is adjacent over hypotenuse. Now what is the adjacent? The adjacent is 25. What is the hypotenuse? That is 50. So I have ka adjacent over hypotenuse. And this is the same as 1 over 2. That is my cos theta. So theta will be equal to cos inverse of 1 over 2. And cos inverse of half is the same as 60 degrees. OK, now the next one is telling us that we should find the length AC. That is the length from A to C. So let me consider a line from A to C. Now, I have here to be P. Now, this side is 40, and this side is 80 minus, we know the X, X is what? 25. So clearly, 40 plus 80 minus 25, this will give us 95. So this side 
is 95 meters. Now, what is what is h? We had the h to be 25 root 3. Clearly, we are right angle triangle. So we can apply the Pythagoras theorem to find AC. So you know that the AC, Pythagoras theorem, AC square equal to AP square plus PC square. Now, what is AP? AP is giving us 25 root 3 square. What is PC? That is 95 square. And this is my AC square. Clearly, therefore, my AC is equal to square root of 25 root 3 all square plus 95 square. Now, we have been allowed to use the calculator. So I can punch on the calculator, and when I punch on the calculator, I have 104.403. Now, the question is saying that it should be to three significant figures. Now, this is my first significant figure, this is my second significant figure, and then this is my third significant figure. Now, what is following is 4, 4, which is less than 5. Therefore, this is 104 centimeters. That is the three significant figures. Or, or we can apply the cosine rule. Probably if this idea didn't come to your mind, what can we consider? Now, we have this. And then we have this. We have A, B, C, and then D. Now, we can consider the line AC. Now, the angle, we had ADC to be 60 degrees. Now, this is 120 meters, and it's meters, and it's meters. This is 120 meters. Now, AD is 50 meters. We want to find AC. Now, using the cosine rule, using the cosine rule, why are we using the cosine rule? Because there's no right angle triangle, and then we want to find the length AC. So what, are, what does it say? It says that where the angle is facing. So you can say that AC square equal to a D square plus D C square minus two times that is A D D C cos the angle. But in this case the angle is sixty degrees. Now what is my A D? My A D is fifty square. What is my D C? One twenty square minus two times 50 times 120 cos 60 degrees. That is my AC square. Now 50 square, that is 2,500. Now what is 120, what is 120 square? That is 1,400, that is 14,400. And this will give us, that is 120, Zero, zero, cos 60 degrees. Now you have AC all square. Now computing this on the calculator, this will give us 10,900, that is AC square. We want to find AC, so the square will go and change to become square root. So we have our AC to be equal to square root of 1,900 and this, that is 10,900 and this will give us 104.403 and this, that is three significant figures. This is the first significant, second significant and then third significant. So this is 104 meters. 
Now, this is a very trivial question. I'm sure that you had it correct. Make sure that you go through for better understanding. You can play back the video. Thanks a lot for watching.